Hello. Today we're going to talk about the structure of skeletal muscle. So skeletal muscle is basically muscle tissue wrapped in connective tissue, wrapped in more connective tissue, wrapped in more connective tissue. But I'm going to kind of try to draw it in a way so that we can actually distinguish the different connective tissue layers. And we're going to start with the smallest part where the sarcomere are, the contractile unit. That is found on a myofibril. Myo means muscle, so we're going to see that prefix a lot during this unit. And I like to compare a myofibril to a straw, so like a little teeny cylinder. And then again, the myofibril contains sarcomeres. A sarcomere is the smallest unit of the muscle that can contract. So I'm not worried about us drawing them today, but if you could just visualize like sarcomere, 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 and then we'll get into that detail in the next few days. Uh, myofibril is not alive, like it's our smallest unit. Next, we're going to get to something that actually is alive, the muscle cell. Except muscle cells aren't called cells, they're called fibers, but fiber means cell. So muscle fiber, a.k.a. cell. It's called a fiber because it's a really funny looking cell. It's like a really long strand. So I'm going to get a different colored pen. And I am going to draw the cell membrane. Except with muscle, it has a different name. It's called the sarcolemma. Sarcolemma means cell membrane. And inside of the sarcolemma, we're going to find lots of myofibrils. So like that circle right there is just like this circle that I drew back here. But now I'm just drawing a cross section so that it's a bit easier for us to try to draw. So one muscle fiber is, can contain anywhere from like 100 to 1,000 myofibrils. Also, surrounding this is going to be our first layer of connective tissue. Um, I'm going to get an orange so we can kind of keep our colors the same. This is called endomesium. So the innermost layer of connective tissue, endomesium. Mesium, mis, muscle. All right, next we're going to take a whole bunch of muscle fibers and we are going to wrap them together into a unit called a fascicle. So I'm actually going to erase part of this so that I have room to draw. So I will encourage you to start by just drawing a few muscle fibers. So like there's sarcolemma, there's sarcolemma, there's the sarcolemma, the cell membrane. And inside of the sarcolemma are myofibril, myofibril, myofibril. I'm going to stop taking saying it, but hopefully you get the picture. Crazy, these little units. And then on the outside of that, we need to add our endomesium. So connective tissue surrounding the muscle fiber endomesium and surrounding that, and surrounding that. Okay, one more new thing is that there is another layer of connective tissue that holds all of these muscle fibers together. So let's add connective tissue going around this whole bundle, and then that is what makes it a fascicle. So that layer of connective tissue is called the perimesium. Peri means around. <coughs> and then this unit right here is a fascicle, which I would define as a group of muscle fibers. We are almost to the entire muscle. Um, the entire muscle contains multiple fascicles. <laughs> so let's do this again. I'm going to start, I think I'll just go back to my sarcolemma color. And let's draw, like there is one fascicle, and then there is another fascicle, there is another. 
fascicle. I'm calling those fascicles, but they're actually the sarcolemma. Each sarcolemma is full of myofibrils. Just stand here while I draw about a thousand of these. What is surrounding the sarcolemma? The endomesium. The innermost connective tissue layer. Endomesium, endomesium, endomesium. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Okay, now I have to get green so I can add my perimesium. And there we go. Now I can actually call that a fascicle and that makes sense. So one fascicle two fascicles, three fascicles, and then the last thing we need to make this an actual muscle is a final layer of connective tissue that's holding all of the fascicles together. And this connective tissue that goes all the way around the outside is called the epimesium. Epi means upon. So hopefully that that might make a little bit of sense to you. Um, let's now compare what we drew to what it actually looks like. So yeah, looks the same as our drawing, right? <laughs> um, let's go ahead and start at the beginning. And they actually don't have the myofibril. But if we took out one of those little guys right there, just like one straw, that would be a myofibril. And then surrounding the myofibril is this layer of connective tissue right here would be the sarcolemma or the cell membrane. So this right here is one muscle fiber or one muscle cell. You can see they are multinucleated. That means they have multiple nuclei in one cell and they're very long. Then I notice like here's a muscle fiber, here's a muscle fiber, here's a muscle fiber, here's a muscle fiber. So this right here is a, um, oh that's supposed to look like a different color. This is, <laughs> I'll erase that. What do we call a collection of muscle fibers? Hopefully you said fascicle. So what I just drew, that blue line around, that is a fascicle because it's a group of muscle fibers. Also, like right there, that's a fascicle, that's a fascicle, that's a fascicle, that's a fascicle, that's a fascicle. So this whole thing is made up of fascicles. And then again, inside of it would be all of these little muscle fibers. And then inside the muscle fiber, we have myofibril, 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 myofibril. Ah. Um, let me get a different color. I'll go back to our green. The connective tissue surrounding the fascicle is called the perimesium. So like that right there that I just traced in white is perimesium, perimesium, perimesium. And then finally, this entire muscle, this would be the epimesium. So the whole muscle is made up of all of the fascicles bundled together. Yeah, it's crazy. You're never going to look at steak the same way. Oh yeah, and this is a this is kind of a nice zoom out picture right here. So, I'll get my highlighter back. If this is perimesium, then that means that that would be one fascicle. And then let's see if we can go like super skinny. And then if this is endomesium, like there's the myofibril, myofibril, oop, muscle fiber, muscle fiber, muscle fiber, muscle fiber, muscle fiber, muscle fiber. And then inside of each muscle fiber, myofibril, 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 myofibril. 
I'm not sure if this will make any sense to you or not. Please email me if it doesn't make any sense. And the last image I'll share with you, this is what it actually looks like. So this is like a close-up microscopic view. The stuff that looks like cobwebs is connective tissue. It's really beautiful. And then each um, individual line right there is a muscle fiber. So that's one muscle cell. And then inside of that one muscle cell, there would be the myofibril, 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 myofibril. So what we're looking at is a bundle of muscle fibers, also known as a fascicle. So that whole thing right here is a fascicle. That would make this connective tissue perimecium, and this is like one fascicle from an entire muscle. Um, thanks for listening, and send me all your questions.